Welcome to the Coach's Roundtable. I'm Ed Cody. To my right, the Swami George Abraham. To my left, the Tiger Albert Campman. Week one, high school football. Can you believe it? We're moving along. Absolutely. Uh, let's go to top rushers. Evan Ryder Morris, 211 yards rushing, three TDs. A game week we did. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Hunter Stalker of Monotol, 154. Brock Borgo of Hampton, 150. Robert Janis of Riverside, 142. Wyatt Carver of Seneca Valley, 127. Andrew Gavlick of North Allegheny, 104 yards and three touchdowns. Top passers, William Moko, Slip Rock, monster game, 305 yards passing, three touchdowns. I'm excited when we get up there and do that I'm game. Looking forward to with it, Wilmington. absolutely, yes. Graham Hancock, Seneca Valley, 246 yards, three touchdowns. Max Schnorr of Butler, 199 yards. And Logan Kushner of North Allegheny, 194. Top receivers, Kieran Bur Boyd of North Allegheny, 6 for 136 yards. Maddox Allen of Slippery Rock High School, 8 for 94. Luke Lawson of Seneca Valley, 7 for 87. Amari Henson of Seneca Valley, 4 for 81. Aiden Davis of Butler, 5 for 56, and Aiden Lysik of Seneca Valley, 5 for 49, and Deshaun Cox of Butler, 4 for 48. Special Team Play of the Week, Kayvon Gardner of Newcastle, an 88-yard kickoff for a return for a touchdown. And note, you heard me mention, guys, five Seneca Valley <coughs> players that make spotlight. Over 400 total yards in the game, 27 points, and they lost 30 to 27 to Peters Township. That's hard to figure out with all that kind of yardage. Absolutely. That's another side of the ball called defense. Yeah, they called it defense. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. And and that that was one of their strengths coming into the year. Yeah, too, but they don't see, see they're th they're great against the run. There's a major yes. difference. <laughs> see, you see somebody throws the ball. Now can you can you get get it done? It's, it's, it's game's changing. The game has changed well, so well, much. We're, 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 you just hear those yardage by the quarterbacks, and we're going to see on. them in next week when they're at Pine Ridge. Yes, Pine rebounded with a thirty-three to nothing win over Kiski after losing to uh, Pickerington of Ohio, forty-five nothing. I saw that one coming. <laughs> Did I you? I feel bad for Kiski. Yeah. yeah, and they're coming off a loss like that, a shutout in their left. Hey, some corrections I want to make in the Mars game, 51-7 to over Newcastle. Running back Evan Wright, he had three TDs, not four that I said he had. And running back Garrett Hetherington, he had two D TDs and not one. And a wide receiver error, they had two number 16s. This is my feeble excuse. And Joseph Sotola was one who had a number 16. He scored on a four-yard run. But the other number 16, Adam Rohrball, he caught a TD pass that I credited to Zatola. So my uh, apologies to Garrett and Adam for those uh, mistakes. No, I wouldn't apologize if they had two numbers the same. <laughs> I, I, I didn't pick it up. No, Did come you on, pick it up? athletic directors. You're getting paid. Let's go. I, I, I didn't. You know, in college, you can only do it if one's on offense right. and one's on defense. Remember, so. they used to put those little things. Uh, pennies over their number so they could cover a kick or something so they didn't have two of the same number. But don't you remember in, in a Notre Dame Pitt game when Notre Dame stopped Pitt? Uh, Notre Dame had a two two guys on the field with this, an offensive guy with one number, say 25, and a defensive guy. The officials never picked it up. I could see missing that. That was a 29-26 win. By Notre Dame. You're so much older. I mean, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, those that wasn't that long ago. It was only 15 years oh, ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, extra point. <clears throat> Newcastle's Nate McKnight, uh, we noticed he had a 98 yard beautiful kickoff return, nullified by penalty. Albert, what? 50 yards away on the other side of the field, and we just asked why. Right. Why Why would he throw it? And the scores was what, Albert, at the time? 44 to 7. You know yeah. yeah. You know, you're going to think I'm nuts. I'd like to know if that official ever played, because I'm betting he didn't. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean. If if it were close to the play, oh, or if it was a no, personal no one, foul, no one said like a, a personal no. foul. Absolutely. But he, he, I didn't even see the flag. He saw it. I saw the flag, and, and it was far away from no, the field, completely across the field. And and this poor kid made a terrific kickoff return. He should have been away. Well, he's going to get touchdown. a lot of practice returning kickoffs the way it looks. So yeah, more yeah, yeah. Uh, they they just yes. they have athletes. But they, they made so many penalty mistakes, uh, alignments, delay games, so on and so forth. Coach has to figure, figure it out what he's going to do there. But he has a quarterback who can run. He got two, three good running backs. Well, let's go to our stories of the week. College football, the backyard brawl, the first since 2011. It was everything that they talked about. It was exciting. It was thrilling. And my only question is, why aren't they playing this every year? It'll be fun to see that. Mm -hmm. uh, 70,000 fans. That's over 70,600 70, mm -hmm. fans at the game. 
And things that I didn't think would happen, West Virginia gouge Pitt's run defense. I know that Narduzzi said, well, we have two young linebackers. Come on, coach. No, no, one, no one cares about that. You have two or three All-Americans on the defensive front. And uh, West Virginia, this kid wasn't even on the depth chart, this fullback, tight end, C.J. Donaldson, 6'2", 240. You guys tell me what you think. He carries seven times for 125 yards. Tony Mathis, the other running back, 71 yards rushing. He'd make a run for 18 yards. Graham Harrell, the offensive coordinator, the next play was a swing pass. I don't get it. I don't understand it. You know he never carried the ball two times in a row? I understand it, though. I really do because that's that, the reason they were running it is because the threat of the pass. Now, you understand he has to throw the ball to spread him out. out. Yeah, but once yeah. in a while, Albert, you'd run him two times oh, in yeah, a row. Oh, yeah, but, uh, but the reason they were successful running wasn't because of the offensive line. Pitt was spread out all over the field. That's what they yeah. That's why the linebacker is so important. There's only two left in there. Yeah. Now, that, that's football today. Spread yeah. you out. But, but, and, but, 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 and, and the Steelers get run run a lot too because of Bush. No, yeah. It's the same thing. Well, well, yeah. It's a linebacker. Yeah. My only thing, if he carried the ball, he should have carried the ball maybe 15 times. I, I just don't understand why you don't repeat a play every now and then if you got a hot running back and you have the momentum. And their back. offensive line hey. did a decent job. No, there's some coaching. Like, Did you see the other night? There's one play left in the App State North Carolina game. They get the onside kick. If they stop, the game's over. He runs it in. They get the ball back and score. Don't you tell them anything? <laughs> I, I would I would think that you you would do that. We're going to get to some of the calls made over the weekend. Um, quarterback uh, J T Daniels he threw for two hundred forty one yards, two touchdowns, had a decent game. <laughs> Uh, Keaton Slovis of Pitt threw for 308. He was sacked five times. I don't think it was all on the offensive line. I, I think he held on to the ball a couple of times way too long. Pitt running game was... It's always average. It, it was it's average. average. It, it had 74 yards by Rodney Hammond. And, and really, when Pitt tried to run, they had trouble with this big nose tackle, Jordan Jefferson of West Virginia, 6'3", 210. And the defensive end was terrific. Dante Stills, 6'4", 29. Pitt couldn't handle those two guys. Yeah, it's, uh, um, sometimes you overrate or underrate teams. Let's play some games before you make call the number two offensive line in the country. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and no you one know. talking about West Virginia's uh, right. defense at all. And they're not, not last. they're not next to last to Kansas. They can't be. No, no. Hey, leading 31-24, to 24, here's a big decision. West Virginia had a fourth and, what, half a yard at, at the pit, 47-yard uh, and 741 to go. And Neil Brown punts. Now, I'll let you guys take it over from there. Well, I have a reason. I have a re at least I have a reason why I go for it. Yeah. If it was 7-6, yeah. I punt it. That's right. My, it's been my theory all the time. Because no one scored all day. Right, right, yeah. right. It's 31-24. That means... Yeah. It's a high-scoring game. I mean, Pitt's going to move the ball. You need more yeah. points, so, in other words. Yeah, too. yeah. yeah. I, the game was high-scoring, so you go for it. That's yeah. it's and, really and, and, and the chance to put a dagger in the pit at that yeah. at that point. And you have C.J. Donald. So there, even if you did, a, I wouldn't have been against a play action faking Whatever, him just and go throwing for the it. ball. Just go, just just go for is, it. And second thing, that was number one. Number two, and George and I've talked about this a million times. Eddie, you have too. It doesn't matter where they start to play. Start. Action again because they're there in one play. Yeah, what they'll saying. start at the ten, and I'm and the first down to get thirty yards. They're right where they were Easy. anyway. Easy. So field position used to be a big thing when it was Woody Hayes's time. Yeah. They would not throw the ball. They were afraid to pass. Yeah, they were afraid, afraid to pass the ball. And, and, and field position means something in the nature of the game. What's what's going on? And what you you've been able to if do? If the game, yeah, if the game's if, seven if six, if you're, so if and your three. defense that has been strong. Yeah, that doesn't happen anymore. No, the over unders are in the sixties, Ed. Yeah, the the only game we saw was a throwback defensive game was Notre Dame Ohio State. Yeah, they didn't know where Phil position, and, and position meant something. Yeah, in that field game. position meant oh, something in that game. Absolutely. Yes. Now, uh, and, and uh, on the ensuing uh, series, uh, Slovis Pitt went ninety some yards. Slovis hits uh, Izzy Abanacondo on a twenty four yard touchdown pass. It's thirty one thirty one. Here comes the clincher. I could see it now as I did there. Pitt defensive back M J Devonshire. That pass to the uh, West Perfect Virginia pass. receiver was right here. Yes. You catch. Uh, the ball's coming in his hands, and here's what he does. He turns his head uh, and zips right through, right to Devonshire. He had a sensational game, too. Yes. 
and that's the game he played. We remember for West Virginia history. Eight. Yeah, is it, wasn't his dad, uh, the grandpa, back? and dad, <laughs> and Gary like Ford? Yes. Yeah. And, and another thing that we've spoken over and over: when you start putting your athletes on defense, did you see Devonshire when he got that return? Oh yeah. There, someone said he, someone made a block. I said for what? For what? Like he, you're going to keep? There's I mean, no. Chance. He just he just weaved his but, way. But I mean, way you tell, I'm I'm not saying he should. I'm saying you don't think he could play off. Oh, he could. Oh yeah. And then and then the game ended. Getting West Virginia came. Came right back. Oh, I mean, there was 38-31. You yeah. thought this is going to go mm -hmm. uh, to overtime. The, the other thing I saw in the pit game, and you go to games, I, I watch them on TV. They still play press coverage out there. Yes, I over don't like it. and I over I don't. and I don't. over, you know, and and they keep throwing the ball deep and completing passes. I'm yeah. thinking, how? Why would mix it up a little bit? Right. Yeah, I'm going to tell you right now too. I, I, I watched Western Michigan against Michigan State because I don't do anything but watch these games. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, Pitt will beat them. They'll move the ball. And, and what you were mentioning, uh, press coverage, I really thought West Virginia should have taken more shots deep down the middle. I thought there were some oh, yeah, you open got to. gaps you got to take them. you got to take them. you got to take them. Which Tennessee did last year, and he missed – Two yeah, of them yeah, he down won't the middle. Oh, that's why Tennessee's favored by seven points. He won't yeah, seven they, and a half. They're watching Pitt's defense thinking, listen, if they keep playing Tennessee's receivers up like oh, this, they're, too fast. they're going to go by them. Oh, yeah. They're going to go down the field. I, I know I mentioned to a, a Pitt fan that they uh, Tennessee beat Ball State 59-10. to 10. They poo-pooed it. I said, hold on, hold on. <laughs> they got athletes. They got more speed yeah. and better athletes than West Virginia. I watched the game last year. Yeah. Tennessee's quarterback was – was he not was, ready he yet. He wasn't but ready. He, and he threw for 300 and, yards. And he still yeah. threw four touchdowns. He missed touchdowns. guys that he four won. I watched By the end of the year, he missed guys. He was open. one of the best quarterbacks in the country. He had two guys down the middle, mm -hmm. wide open in that yeah. game. I worry about Pitt this missed. game. But, so does the oh. bookies know. They're giving Pitt's getting a touchdown at home. I know. And I know. listen, that their 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 run game. It was supposed to be better under Signetti. It's not. They have to get better in the running game if they're going to go. Yeah, now the rest of their schedule after Tennessee. Look at the ACC. Okay, you, you had Clemson won. You knew that. Uh, Florida State won by one point, but North Carolina 63 61. Yeah, Wake and Duke both. I mean, they didn't have good competition. Uh, Virginia Tech lost the right. oh. Old Dominion. <coughs> North Carolina State, we had, I had in the top 10. They got by East Carolina on a missed field goal 21 to 26. So and, and also. After Tennessee, Pitt's next toughest game down the road is at Miami. If you want to maybe Virginia. One. That's a tough one. Maybe Virginia. All right. Next for West Virginia, though, they have Kansas. Yeah. Uh, and and here, here, There's an improved team. Yeah. They, yeah. They, they used to play these lesser teams and win 28-26. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They I'm gonna tell you. blasted them. <clears throat> hey, the portal. Kansas, Arizona. Yes. I, told I you swear Arizona. to God, I never seen a team. That's not Arizona. From not last close. year, three, not even close. three thousand players <clears throat> entered the transfer Absolutely. portal. Absolutely. Uh, despite only thir three yards average uh, rush, Penn State rallied to beat Purdue, thirty-five thirty-one. It's a big win on the road. Good. Sean Clifford, a ten-yard touchdown pass to uh, Kevon Lee with fifty-seven seconds left. Clifford threw for two eighty-two and four TDs. And Purdue's quarterback, another six-year quarterback, yes. uh, O'Donnell, he threw for three fifty-six. Uh, the Boilermakers had well over 400 yards on offense. Next up for Penn State, they get some relief with the Ohio Bobcats. Hey, Purdue coach apologized for not running the ball when he got it back with a lead. He admitted it. He goofed up. Well, that's because it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, if it, you know, if it I'm telling you, there was passed, a guy wide yeah. open for Oh, that, oh on his left side. Yeah. yeah. If he <clears> completes <throat> the pass, the game's over. Absolutely. He doesn't complete. The, the, both those games just talked West Virginia yeah. and Purdue one turned on one play. And that's how it goes. Yeah, I'm going to say something about Clifford. There's this idea, like for some reason, it's personal. He had 14 yards of completion, four touchdowns. How do you be critical? I don't know. I have no <coughs> idea. I don't either. Hey, and locally, Slippery Rock 42, Wayne Ooh. State 10. That's a great win. The Rock wins thir their 13th straight um, home opener victory. Quarterback Noah Grover with 271 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Jacob Odom, uh, eight catches for 97 yards, and Cohen Russell caught two touchdown passes. Next up for the Rock, they got a tough one. They are at oh, Westchester. Yeah. I like the no interceptions. Yes. The, yep. Slip Rock usually loses games. They struggled last year. When they year. turned the ball over. That's when they lost. Yeah. That's uh -huh. the major yes. loss of their uh -huh. two games. You know, right. interestingly, Shepard, West Virginia, is in the PSAC in the other half. 
They had the winner of the D2 Heisman last year, and he's back. So it'll be good. They're always good. <laughs> yeah. They're a good team all the time. <clears throat> hey, around college football, Florida State 24, LSU 23. Uh, Mike Norvell, I, I'm not understanding what this – sometimes luck is, is better than, than smart. It is everything. No, it's everything. It, it, He's, he's leading 7-3 to three late in the first half. He's in the red zone, passes up a field goal to put him up 10-3. to three. How stupid is that? And, and, and that is dumb. <laughs> oh, and then you tell me this. They recover that punt late in, late in the game with less than two minutes down at the six-yard line. On a third and two, he does a, a third and goal to two, a pitch I just out. Said, I was talking to George on the phone. When I, I just drove me. No, it it wasn't that. a pitch out. It was a guy coming toward him. I don't even know what it was. <coughs> it was terrible. It was. It was. Still oh, that guy went nuts. For all, you need, all you need is a field goal to win the game. It, I mean, I mean the game's in, clinched with a field goal. Yeah. The ball. <laughs> your enemy, your enemy is the clock at yeah. this point. The other thing is, if he kicks that first half field goal, is he he's watching Brandon Staley, the, another, well, I call him an Italian cup of toast, a hard head, <laughs> uh, going. For, I I just don't understand. Yeah. And then Brian Kelly. Nobody said they're any they're any good though. So, yeah. Uh, I don't think they. I, I think football coaches. Struggle the most of all thing in game. Absolutely, yeah. they they make so many bad choices that you sit at home thinking there should be some assistant on the sidelines saying, "Coach, you, you, you know, we don't need a touchdown here. Yeah. Let, let me all we you, need is a field goal. The game's over." Down, you, you know, who, you know who wanted the job was Deion <coughs> Sanders. <coughs> He's done a heck of a job, job at Jackson someplace. State. He's getting the job. Someplace. I tell you what, there are a lot of Power Five teams that don't want to play Jackson State. He's getting the job. They, they, they got some athletes. Well, his kids yeah. quarterback. His kids and he's good too. Yeah. Good quarterback. Yeah. I, I I think he's a good coach. Yeah. I think he's done a terrific job. He took a team at one what one or two games the year before and last year they went nine and one. He he must be doing he'll something. Get the, right. He'll get the players. I said that's, that's why that's, he'll yes, get the that's players. Sick. Now. LSU, unbelievably, they come back, they score, it's 24-23. It's 95 degrees in Florida. Why do you want to go to overtime? Brian Kelly. I don't know. I'd have kicked it too. No, I'd have no, kicked it. I'm going for the two. Yeah, I'd have kicked it, Eddie. I'm yeah. going for the two. Okay. I, I, I really am. It's a non-conference game. I think your team's about, at that point, pretty well spent. You don't want to go into overtime. Well, they're spent too. I mean, I'd have kicked it. No I, I would have kicked it. I, I'm, I'm different. I'm going for the two. Now, I guess during the game, Brian Kelly – and one re receiver, Butte, had a shouting match. You know, <laughs> well, yeah. no, Butte, be a lot more. Butte's left. He's, he, he's, he's, he's in the transfer blood. portal. He left the school yesterday. Yeah. He's yeah. already entered There'll into the transfer <clears throat> portal. Listen, yeah. he's There's no his, one, George. Is there anybody in the no, country? Kelly's yeah. in his Cincinnati mode. <laughs> yes, he, yeah, he, that's he, not going to work. See, yeah. He saved those MF thing in uh, Notre Dame because of the priest. Yeah. He's back to the old Kelly. Well, he won. Notre Dame you, too. You know, he, he was losing. He, he was, was MF and still hey, there. Hey, too. listen, the only no, coach he brought no, with they, him. They did tone him down. But yeah, that's because they started winning. That's why. The only coach he brought with him was a special teams coach. If you think Kelly's going to take the blame for two blocks, he's not. That guy will be fired if he doesn't. But he is. He's the, he's the worst How about in the country return? for yeah. blaming everybody yeah. else. For blaming everybody else. You know what the wide him. receiver called him? A fake Ed Ogeron. Yeah. A fake Ed like Ogeron. He is. Hey, Ed can recruit. Is. Ogeron can recruit. Any school in the country, oh, no. you Pretty want somebody to recruit for you down the south. You hey, get, Ed can hey, talk to hey, those he, kids. Uh, his, uh, Didn't you see Kelly's look on his face? Oh, yeah. Like he's like thinking. How about when he... Jumps his assistant oh, coach. To the he's, he's savage. Yes. All right, here we go. Show me the money to see uh, college football playoff to expand to, expand to 12 teams by 2006, maybe 2024. The ACC and the Big 12 voted against it. So many teams. Uh, do you guys like 12 teams? Or I you like think eight or six less? Eight. Yeah. No, I don't. It's the not I, like box. I don't want four. Let's put it this, that way. So yeah. I, I don't know which way you go. Mm -hmm. I want more than four. I, mm -hmm. I, if you get to eight, I'd really be happy. Yeah. But 12, I'm not going to be crying about because I don't like four. Four that gives, no, that gives no team outside of the SEC and the, yeah. the chance. Right. So you really have. You know what's going to happen and, now. And, and oh, yet, get 12, they're going to have five. Yeah, and what you said, the SEC. They want 12 because they know they're going to have at least four teams Absolutely. in it. Absolutely. Uh, it but just, the other ones, I think the reason is ACC, them, they're hoping now that maybe if they appease other people, they won't make these 35-team leagues. That's what they're hoping for. And, and kiss the traditional bowls goodbye. They're You'll have bowl games, yeah. but there'll be playoffs Absolutely. at the Rose. Yeah, right. But now they're talking about to do the bowl games before the season. Yes, so. yeah. Does Alabama want to play no, Southern no. Cal before the I season in the Rose Bowl? No, I, I think the Bulls are done. They're, yeah, they, they've been heading that way. They have been heading yeah. that way. It's a shame because we, we like, I like them all. Mm -hmm. They own them all but three. 
So that might keep them alive. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this week, Pitt, Tennessee, and then Alabama, Texas. Let's, yeah, see, yeah. let's see what happens there. Yeah. Be interesting to see. Let's go. I was surprised the, that Texas could be that play with Alabama. I mean, Alabama's unbelievable. Oh, well, they are. Say, I mean, just they're, 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 How about every Georgia? Player, hey. every, that's what I'm saying. Georgia, Both teams. Georgia. Every player's that was a problem. Oregon. That wasn't. Uh, <laughs> every good player's time. a problem. Is that Oregon or the Fighting oh, Cucumbers? Oh that's solid every, green. I, I was going blind. Oh, every player's a problem. They went blind, too. The, the fighting. <laughs> All right, NFL. Steelers open at Cincy. Six and a half point dog. Uh, here's the quarterback rotation. It's Trubisky first. Mason Rudolph second. Pickett. Most likely to be in street clothes. Are you surprised? Yeah, I am. Only because the fans. That's, that gives Tom. I give Tom credit. He doesn't listen to the fans. He said, "I'm going to go with what I believe is the right way thing to do." I, and that is his strength. He's always done it. He's where he blocks out everybody else and does what he has to do. And I'll give him credit for that. Is Trubisky running the job? Yeah, it, he is. It, running, it, he is. It, it, to me, this reminds me of the old <coughs> days of the Roman Colosseum, yeah. you know, when they did thumbs up and thumbs, thumbs down. down. Oh, he one. makes one mistake. Sad, isn't it? And, it, it, sad. it, it it's sad. And they, I don't think they have sad. any line. I think he set oh up the fail. George, yes. they're, George they're, you're, you're, yes. you're reading my yes. mind. <laughs> I was going to get the evaluation. The offensive line, they brought in three guys that no one else wanted, and uh, Cole – and Daniels have not helped. And then he picked up another guy released by the Vikings. And there's just no – I just don't see them helping him. Trubisky's going to have to run for his life. Yes, he is, and there's no question about it. That's why That's why Ben threw the short passes. Everybody's, everybody loved to hate him. Yeah. For throwing, watch watch out. They, he's got to be getting rid of the ball too the same way. Now, now, you look at the running back situation. They have three running backs. Now it comes out that Najee Harris may have that – uh, what's it called? Uh, Liz Frank. Oh, no, Liz Frank. Yeah, Liz does, Frank. Yeah. Yes. Didn't that sideline Derrick Henry? Yeah, it did. Absolutely. Last year? Well, if you're a running back, maybe you can get away playing it if you're a defensive lineman. But as a running back, with all the cutting and that you have to do, how serious is this? And can Benny Snell and the other running back pick up the slack? They're going to have to. But uh, no, but, but. Snell's 13. And they, they move Snell. Did they move him? He's 13. And Warren's behind Warren, him. Warren behind him. the second team, yeah. Now, the wide receivers, that's a strength to me. Yeah. Oh, tight ends. Very, very, yes. very yeah, strong. Yeah. The, the defensive line, it's a mixed bag. Boy, you better hope Cam doesn't get hurt. Yeah, that's, well, that's true on every team in the league, though. Every yeah. team in the league, yeah. you've you got two or three special players right. that you can't go Lock without. And Cam and Cam. Yes, that's Now, it. outside linebacker, they help by adding Malik Reed. From Denver, 13 sacks over two years. I'm puzzled that they let. I thought this kid was coming on just his second year. Uh, Derek Tuska, 6'5, 245. I'm surprised they let him go. I thought he was a good young player. Yeah, you must see some at practice. That's what I always say that. Well, coaches see things at practice that we don't get a chance to see. And boy, at middle inside linebacker, Miles Jack, there's nothing after him. I'm taking Spillane over Bush. So am I. But, but I think they're going to start Bush. No, you start. Barmy? He's definitely starting. Yeah, yeah he's, he's definitely going to start. start. You yeah. don't admit they're wrong in that first round draft. It's hard to yeah. guess. Uh -huh. and, and the secondary, at best, it's it's an average position at the corners. Safeties, I think they're much better in the, uh, coming up tackling, which they have to be. Uh, I find them lacking in the red zone. Well, the Steelers need a pass rush. You know, when they get the pass rush, they win games. You know, Watt and Hayward and, and High Top, when they're in there rushing the quarterback, then they are really good. When they're not, they go real become uh, Okay, having said all that, give me your take on on this season, your prediction, your record. Nine and season. eight. I was gonna. I, I forgot to have an extra game, so I was gonna <laughs> say eight and eight. So I'll say nine and eight too. I was gonna. I was gonna say eight and eight. I'm gonna say eight and nine. Okay, pretty, pretty that. similar. That's where it was last year. Come out of the last two games, and both teams gave them to them. The Ravens. Now, now if, if Harris can't play. Oh, uh, I'll redo. Uh, we'll redo. And, uh, the thing is, I, I didn't see evidence. Maybe it is improved. I don't see the run defense being any much better than it was last year when they were dead last, giving up 146 yards a game. Yes, yeah, I don't see it better. Linebacker plays really, really weak. It really is against the run. I think Jack will improve it though. All right, opening week. Don't miss games. Cleveland at Carolina. Baker Mayfield. Carolina favored by two and a half. I'm rooting for Carolina. Uh, so am I. I I'm, yeah, I think they're going to win. Yeah. Yeah, and at Denver too. and uh, Russell Wilson at Seattle. Wow. And Seattle's really – in the preseason, really, you, know, you can't go by preseason. Right. They sure look weak in the preseason. And then Buffalo at the Rams, the Bills by two and a half. That's amazing. 
Yeah. That is amazing. That tell, tells champ. how good Buffalo is. And uh, Raiders and Chargers, uh, uh, Chargers by two and a half, three and a half. That's mm-hmm. right there. They, yeah. They're a bad favorite. Yeah. They always give a late score up and yeah. lose the spread. <laughs> hey, uh, listen to this. The NFL last year, a record, here's their revenues, $11 billion for listen last year. Listen Number one in ticket sales in the NFL, you know what it was? The Raiders. Yeah. $119 million in ticket sales. Because yeah. everybody in the world's there. And they want to see the different teams. They know that it's a destination. They'll have 5,000 fans there from the visitor. Hey, here my game. here are my preseason power rankings. You guys jump in. Number one, Buffalo. I know yeah. you like. Uh-huh. Number two, I know. Surprise! I have Baltimore. I think Lamar. So surprise to me. I, love no, I, like I, I, I like Lamar. He's going to play because I like of both that, of them, that contract. Number three, I've dropped the Rams down. Four. Here's my another surprise. I have the 49ers. I have in the 49ers there. ahead of the Rams. So okay. We're different there. Okay. Number five, the Chiefs. Number six, Green Bay. Here's my next surprise. I have the Eagles in there. Number yeah. seven. George and uh, I both like the Eagles. And then I have Eagles. Tampa, Dallas, and the Raiders. On the cusp, Denver, the Vikings, and Arizona. Why no Chargers? Because I don't like the way Brandon <laughs> Staley coaches. No. I really like Denver. I like Denver's yeah, yeah. team a lot. With Wilson coming in there. Yeah. And How at, about that division? Uh, you see, you, you just could got be good. a big extension. Uh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. You, I think you, their, defense, be, their defense is really good already. Their defense is good. That's, why they, like, that's why they let the linebacker go. I really like Denver. <coughs> that that division, the AFC First West. Court, oh switch. my God! Yeah, you you could be really good yeah. and be maybe nine and absolutely. eight, and you're not going anywhere. No, you're absolutely. you're stuck because your not six gonna... division games are murk. Hey guys, I'm going to finish by mentioning this. Goodbye, uh, paper tickets, programs, death by digital. Uh, most major league sports teams, the college bowls, all getting rid of it. I was at the pit game, and I asked the sports information guy, E.J. Borghetti, where, they used to put out these nice, thick programs, player bios. He said, everything's digital. Everything. No. So you go to the game, you better have your phone to check the lineup, yeah. see who's who, yeah, where, what number, and so yeah, I, went to Ken- I went to Kennywood Park. Yeah, I couldn't put, put cat- – I'm going to get a lemonade. I said, here's why I pull my money out. No, we don't take that money. We just want digital. Digi- there you go. Think that, about that. That's it for us. We run out of time. We'll see you next week. We're proud to announce that in 2022, Armstrong has been named Cablefax Independent Operator of the Year for the second time. We'd like to thank all of our employees for contributing to our success and a big thank you to our customers for their continued support.